using the same tools as you used in your Class 1 Double Braid Eye Splice, we will start a Class 1 Double Braid End Splice. Taking a piece of tape, wrap the end of your rope, take your scissors, and cut the melted end off. Now take your FID, this is half inch rope, we're using a half inch FID, and measure one FID length on your rope and mark it. Now you're going to take five FID lengths from your first mark, and you're going to tie a knot. Now going back to your first mark, what you want to do is take your pusher, or you can also use a smaller fin, and we're going to extract the core from the cover at this point. Sometimes you might have to work with your pusher a little bit to make sure that you are actually getting the core and not the cover. Once you get a portion of the core out, you should be able to grab it and pull the core out from the cover. Then, from your knot, you're going to milk or smooth out the cover over the core. At this point, take a piece of tape and tape the ends of the core. Now, where your core comes out of your cover, you're going to take a marker and mark the core. Pull the core out and take your FID. On your FID, there's a little mark. You're going to mark the core at that point and then take one full completed FID length and mark the core. Then from your second mark on the core to your third mark, you will be inserting the FID. Insert at the second mark and come out at the third mark. This is how it should look. Now take a piece of tape and tape the end of your cover. Put the end of the cover into the hollow end of the FID. I have a little too much tape, so I'm going to clip a bit off. I'm inserting it into the FID, and then I'm going to take a piece of tape, and I'm going to tape the cover onto the end of the FID. Now, I'm going to take the end of the FID and pull the cover through the core. You can also take your pusher and push the rope through. This is how it should look. Now cut the rope at an angle just above the FID. Now you're going to Tighten the rope and you're going to smooth the core back over the cover. 
continue to do this until none of the rope of the cover is showing. Now I have a little bit of excess. So after I smooth it out, I'm going to take the excess and cut it off at an angle with my scissors. Again, I'm going to milk out the core over the cover. Now, from our knot, we're going to milk the cover over the core. This can be kind of difficult. I like to call this tug of war. I have someone hold the other end and I milk the rope over. You might have to do this two or three times in order to get the cover completely over the core. Now, once the cover is over the core, you have excess core. Take the excess core and cut it off. Take your rope again from the knot and milk the cover back over the core so you cannot see where the core was cut off. This is how your end splice should look. At this point, what I like to do is tack it just to reinforce the end splice. Again, I take wax thread. You can also use a fishing line. Thread my needle. Tie a little knot on the end. Clip off the excess string. Then up through the center of the end splice, I go in about an inch. Make my stitch about a half inch. And then I continue to go through five or six times. You can do this as many or as few times as you'd like. Then when you're done, you take your needle and you pull it back out through the end of the rope and you clip the end. There you have your completed end splice. Here are your completed class one double braid eye splice and end splice.